Anyway, this is going to be a video a collection overview 2011. I probably should have done one when I first came on YouTube, but I didn't really. I just kind of slipped my mind, I guess. Um, I'm just going to go through the, the shelves and like the new units and stuff. Um, and you know, if there's any questions, you know, about certain tiles, you know, just ask and that. Um, this is the drama section at the moment. You know, there's a mixture of stuff here. Um, I mean, there's some. I'm sorry about the lighting as well up here as well. Um, Boys and Vincent, that is a great film. That's one of my, like, my not one of my favourite films, but it's a fantastic film. Check that out. Um, as I said, I'm probably I'll move a few titles in. You know, <clears throat> if space is, which space has got a bit. <laughs> I mean, Combat Shock should probably be up in the horror, but I ran out of space, so so I move that. You know, Clean Shaven, that's a great film. Criterion films, don't believe Peter Greensbury in that film. Um, and I said the lighting is poor here, so I do apologise. Executive Action, that's a great one. Free Will, that's another good one. That's a German film. It's, it's a nice cover. It's a good film, that. Um, a Guide to Recognising Your Scientists, and this, that's a steel book. Look at that. That's a real good film, that. I really enjoyed that film. That, that guy gets a bit of a bashing, I don't really know why. Happiness, <laughs> fucked up, brilliant film. Um, I stand alone. I stand alone. So it's weird sometimes, you know, when you're looking through the camera. Um, that is well. You've seen that. I've got inside as well. There's um, like a bootleg of um, Carne, the first film. It's unbelievable films, both of them. Um, so the lighting is bad here, isn't it, Mark? Because as I said, you can slow this down. You know, if any, if any talk. There you go. I'll move back a little bit. Any titles, you know, I'm not ask any questions about. Just move along a little bit. Matuan, that's another good one, that's set in the deep south. Hang on a second, I'll move around a bit. It's just slightly difficult. Balancing on a chair and stuff, so. <laughs> I don't want to fall off while I'm filming. That's a good one, that is. That's about a um, minor dispute in the south. Mississippi Burning, probably one of my favourite all-time films. That's Murder in Mississippi. That's a film kind of... Well, it could be used as a prick because it's got the murder of the three civil rights activists. A Nike Criterion release. Brilliant film. No by mouth, one of my favourite films. Gary Oldman directs Ray Winston. He's unbelievable in it. Absolutely unbelievable. Nothing, men. Always going about that Australian film, one of the best films I've seen from Australia for years. It's a fantastic film. You should watch that. My alarm going off. I'm trying to knock it off. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, Onion Field, Once of Warriors. Unbelievable film. Oh, just brilliant film. Um, Pariah, one of the, just the worst films I've ever seen. Pete McDougal Collection, Scottish. Uh, director, no, Scottish writer, sorry. Um, unbelievable films, real good films. Prophet of Evil, Brian Denner here, it's a good one. Quadrophenius, a still look at that. Uh, Summer of Sam, that is one of my favourite films. Shooting Dogs, oh god, god. Probably one of the most depressing endings I've ever seen. Probably, I've got about four films on the Rwandan genocide. And I've got about three that's better than Hotel Rwanda, that's another one sometimes in April. Talk Radio, unbelievable film. Fantastic film. Really, really great film, I'd really, really recommend that. Eric Bedosian is just unbelievable, isn't it? Um, that's a still book of the verdict. I'm just going to move to another shelf now because you can see some of the blu rays there, so I'm just going to cut to another shelf. Uh, well, the, light, the light's better now, so there's a Star Wars box. I have enough around about that. I'm going to stop doing that. Um, well, I'll try to anyway. I found a lot of film pissed me off recently. There's a Watchman. Let's cut. Ben Hur, oh man, that was amazing. Honestly, to God, the, the, the chariot racing now is just blows your mind. Still stands up. would stand up to anything now. Ten Commandments, a bit disappointed with that. Your Brenner was good in it, but not myself, sorry. Cone Brothers box set. 
Scarface behind there, Torrente. If you like your comedy politically correct, don't watch that. I love it. I love my comedy, you know, just fucked up. That's the way comedy should be. It shouldn't have any boundaries and that. That's the point, you know. Now it's time in the west. Hold that up. I'll try to hold the back of it. And the Harry Potter's there at the end. I just picked them because they're extending. Like, I don't really mind them when they're kind of kids and that, but as they get older, I find them more irritating, you know. And I, I could probably sell that. I could see me selling them at some point. Pulp Fiction. Let's go box set. Come with the wind. Robin Hood box set. Big set, like, nice set. Shit film. Pro Russell's accent. I mean, I know, you know, I've known a few people from Nottingham. I know how they. I know their accent, believe me, they never spoke, um, you know, with an Irish, Welsh, Scottish, <laughs> Scouse, Mancunian. Basically, he spoke in every other dialect apart from the one he was supposed to be doing. So, yeah, there's the top of the blue rows. I moved down to that row. Yeah, I think I moved down to that. Oh, no, I'll do the other row now. Oh, the line's a bit better now. So, I'll try to just show the bottom of the blue rows. It's only time on that. I'm gonna try to you know, talk about track of his grateful. I won't talk about them much. You know, there's a sort of kind of titles in here. I'm just gonna go through. I thought I will come, I said how good that was. Out for justice is only sticking out because <laughs> I was watching some of that the other day. You know, I, I never get bored of my cigar, you know. So, yeah. so I haven't put some of these in yet because it's space perfect host, good film. Um oh, show those. Well there's you see those are the Zeds. Uh, at some point. There's Wolfman sticking out. I always I always say that was alright man. God that film gets far too much of a bashing. You know, I enjoyed that, for what it was, you know. Red Hill, grey, grey film. Who's <laughs> there? Wild Bunch Rockies. I like to have a lot of mixed stuff, you know, Neds is a good film, Mission of the the Rose, stuff that film. Not the Hunt though, probably one of the best, you know, sound of Charles Lawton, you know, I never really got to. I always pull this out, I think it's one of the most disturbing covers. Whenever I look at it, man, I have all the horror covers, whenever I see that, I'm like, it's always wrong, man, you know, it's just, <laughs> it's just always real weird cover. Um, Zombie Island. Silver. Iron Clouds, that was a funny one. Kill the Irishman, that was a good one. Killing Grey Film. Um, Kid Kong, one of my favourite great films of all time. Um, all the Rings, he might be animated. I love that. I grew up with that. You know, that. I always remember that being on like, Channel 4 and that, you know. We really grew up with that. Um, at least still Christmas time. What's the devil? Oh, see. I like uh, Henri and the Ver, that was a disappointment. A lot of my Star Trek films, that was really disappointing, man. Veteran, I said how much I hated that one. Well, no, it was a good film, but the end, in the end, it really pissed me off. Valen's Asker, that's an awesome film. That Hall Horizon as well, that was brilliant. Um, John Joe the movie. Classic. Um, Gettysburg. There's Garden Generals. There. Two of my favourites. Two of my favourite films, honestly. Really love those films. I mean, you all get favourite films. I mean, Cronus, I was I talking about Donnie, about that, you know, pick that up on Criterion and see the, the Bleak House thing. See him, Gunnar Del Toro's house, my God, or one of his houses. It's a man cave extraordinaire, honest to God. 
I mean, you know, he's, oh God, his collection was just, you know, we all see collections on YouTube, but I mean, I imagine he just nukes ours, you know. Well, I mean, then that was only a, a snip bit of it, you know. I'm just going to go through some of these again, because the lighting was bad earlier, you know, it was all shitty. Aftershock. That's a rare one now, that is. A really nice addition as well. It's beautiful. I really love that dish, that. Um, I used to have these shadows. So I've got to get some of these in, man. i got to get... i got to... Oh, I love that cover, but I don't know what she is. Um, i just got to get some of these put in now. Science. I love that film. Hey, the second one. The Shy Man, you know. See that? That one's quite dark at the bottom there. Uh -huh. So, yeah, I'm trying to move on to some other stuff now. So, yeah, he's going through another shelf. These are PS2 games. This is, um,. It's like you know, the kind of crimey section of the, the TV. These are the TVs around here. Ours, oh, I've said how amazing that is. Um, kind of uh, Brotherhood. Brotherhood's a real good one. Blue Murder. Brilliant. Oh, that's, uh, here's some of the Blu ray box sets. More Blu ray box sets. Um, behind that. Uh, historical sort of stuff. I saw um, I saw a like Donnie's video the other day from Lord Juggalo. I'm sure Lord Juggalo had the Centennial kind of it was, it was like a VHS style box. It looks fucking lovely, man. I have to ask you about that, mate. It looks amazing. I'm a big fan of Centennial. Like, um, there's like the horror TV. That's the Freddy's Nightmares fan set up from Brazil. It's real good. The quality's real good. Better than the then the normal quality you get, like uh, part of the apes. Uh, behind that is the shield. Behind that is the shield. There you can just see the corner of it. Um, and some dove, north and south. Larry Sanders, X Files, Deadwood, Band of Brothers, GI Joe. Behind that, it's Batman animated series. Quickly scrolling along. Start first off at the bottom. It's just comedies at the bottom. It goes up to crime. As I said, you know, if you want me to go through this a bit slower, but you know, I'm just going through this. This is just like an overview. I haven't done one of these before, so. Yeah. I've always got a crime. I've always got a lot of blood in, blood out. It's my favourite. Box sets at the top. The Wolf and Cub, Hanzo. Always have them next to each other. And those three, um, Torrente. Those three box sets are my, probably my favourites. Um, more box sets at the top. Fine, oh, shit, like a Oh, God. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's always the, the old iron blokes. And I suppose you get that in Europe or America, but we fucking do over here, particularly in Birmingham, like. Right? You must be mad. Um, particularly when you're trying to do a video. I'm going to bloody horn. Um, that's all westerns. Um, it's, it's normally a layer of 50 from the front and back, but I'm trying to make a bit more space for historical. It's, it's going to have um, action. It's got a chair behind me. I'm trying to sit down. Oh, these aren't action. These are, um, there's an action row behind this, and these are just the new kind of ones I picked up. Really happy with that one at the end. I'll show that another update. Really happy with um I saw a serving film the other day as well. That was that's funny as fuck. I really really liked that. Really enjoyed it. Um here's action. So yeah, it's quite a lot of action. I'm a big action fan, you know. I think there's a bit too much snobbery when it comes to action films sometimes. I don't really like it. Um just move a few more box sets so boxes that like. There you go. There's just it's just that's just miscellaneous. Yeah, kind of fam family uh, 
um, adventure, that type of thing. Um, there's a beyond. Oh, um, it's night, while I'm fighting back. There's a taxidermia box, I love that. And Beyond the Sun, Dr. Lamb, Maniac, Wicker Man. As I said, there's more. There's, there's an almost box that's behind this, but I just can't get to them at the moment, you know what I mean? It's, um, it's not. Mm, there's a few, but it's. It's a Lord of Ring box behind that I've shown off before, and there's a few other stuff. The first row of the horror. As I said, these are double layered, man. Um, and, and if you see, like, them. A few, a few bags, you know, that's just like some of the out of print tiles. It doesn't necessarily mean they're good, it just means they're out of print. The Clown House, yeah, that's a great film. Communion's great for a laugh. You fancy seeing Christopher Walken. No, that wasn't Clown House, though. that was Company of Wolves I ever did in. That was, so this was still, but that's Clown House, that's a brilliant film. But, you know, some of them i got that are out of print, I've tried to bag up a bit. I mean, look at this, take this example, final exam. This is expensive now. Great cover art. Shit film. I don't know why it's seen as some sort of great slashing because it really isn't. I think some people look through it through, I don't know, remembering things, you know, in a different light and that. But I've seen it and I don't know, I think it's just overrated crap. So these are all double light. As I said, you know, if you feel up behind these, you know. So look, there you are, there's more there. So they'd, they'd be like the H is going to be. These are letters and like, last X is in that, God, I hate that film. When she bashes the cat in now, I want to bash her fucking head in to be quite honest with you. You know, you got live films like that now, you know, just fucking hurting animals just for the hell of it. I don't really see the reason for it, to be honest, you know. Kind of gets on my nerves, to be honest. You know, just for the sake of doing it. There's nightmares out of print. Now, if you spent £30 or £40 on that, you wouldn't be disappointed because it's a great, great, great horror anthology. Honestly, it's brilliant. Um, Nori the Curse, I always like that one, I we talk about that, great ending of that, Orca, like that, well I don't like it, I'm going for Orca in that, I fucking hate what they, you know, do, Pet Cemetery. we all know about the scary bitch in that, I fucking, did not like that when I was a kid, i got to be honest, I fucking hated her, I can't even remember her name now, what was her name, someone will probably put it in the comment, Sauna, great finished film, historical, you only get historical and horror mixed together, but, that and Ravenous really, Scalps, another out of print one which is just total shit, Science, that film, the Czech, Czech film in the Czech Republic, short film, I enjoyed that. Sender, that was a good one, I enjoyed that. That was a real good one. Uh, just going to zoom through some of these. You know, I, don't, I, mean, I bet, I mean, you know, you're not myself, you know, like, you know, when you got like a, when you got a lot of DVDs and that, you need, sometimes you just can't get around to watching them all, you know. There's a lot I need to get around to seeing, but you know. But, you know, so that's, I mean, as I said, you know, there's more, there's more layers behind here, I mean, you know. And I won't pick that shelf, that shelf's not a good example, because like, it's quite hard to get into. But yeah, you can see, the you know, line's badly on there. Yeah, well, the only thing that sticks out there is the Redeemer, and that's shit anyway, so you don't want to see that. God, that was an awful film. But yeah, I'm just going to, yeah, so I'm just going to move along, so. Yeah, but you know, the video will probably come to an end now, so, you know, thanks for, you know, watching the video. Subbing and stuff and making comments and that, you know. And, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers for subbing. Always appreciated. And I'll be back for another, probably an update in a few weeks or something. So, cheers.